We're going to take a look at um, solving some Gay-Lussac uh, problems. Let's look at our first problem here. It says hydrogen cyanide, a highly poisonous compound, is commercially prepared by the following reaction run at a high temperature and in the presence of a catalyst. How many liters of CH4, O2, and NH3 ammonia are required and how many liters of H2O are produced in the preparation of 15 liters of HCN. Assume that all the volumes are measured under the same conditions of temperature and pressure. All right, so the key to this problem here is we need to use the stoichiometry that's given to us in the balanced chemical equation. We know what we're starting with, and because we know what we're starting with, we can use that information, or we know, we know what we're given. We can use that information, which is the 15 liters of hydrogen cyanide, to deduce what all the other reagents should be. So let's look at the first one. The first one says, um, how many liters of CH4 would be equal to... 15 liters of HCN. So the first thing we need to do is convert our hydrogen cyanide into moles of hydrogen cyanide. So that is done by, we know that for every one mole of HCN, we would have 22.4 liters of HCN. HCN cancels out. If we stop right here, our answer would be in moles of HCN if we do our calculation. But if we don't want our answer in moles of HCN, we want to have our answer in liters of CH4. So we have to use a conversion factor that would allow us to go from hydrogen cyanide to methane. So that information is found in our balanced chemical equation, which tells us that for every two moles of CH4, I have um, two moles of HCN. This is where the two moles of HCN comes from. So now what I've successfully done is converted my um, liters of HCN into moles of CH4, but I don't want to stop here because I want my answer to be in liters of CH4. So I use one more conversion factor, and I know that for every um, one mole of CH4, I would have 22.4 liters of CH4. So moles of CH4 cancel out, moles of HCN cancel out, and I essentially do the calculations. As you can see, this is going to give me 15 liters of methane. So now, let's take that to the next level and let's look at the next problem. Ask ourselves the same question. How many liters of O2 would be equal to 15 liters of HCN? So again, I'm going to take my liters of HCN and I'm going to convert it into moles of HCN. So I know that for every one mole of HCN I have 22.4 liters of HCN. Liters of HCN cancel out. But I don't want my answer to be in liters of HCN. I want it to be in liters, I mean in moles of HCN. I want it to be in liters of, of oxygen. So I have to use my conversion factor, which says from the balanced chemical equation that for every three moles of O2, I have two moles of HCN, which we call moles of HCN to cancel out. So now my answer is in moles of oxygen. I want to convert my moles of oxygen into liters of oxygen, which I know that for every one mole of O2, I have 22.4 liters of O2. Moles of O2 cancel out, and I have my answer as 22.5 liters of oxygen. I do the same thing for ammonia. 
how many liters of NH3 is equal to 15 liters of HCN. I convert my moles of HCN into, I convert my liters of HCN into moles of HCN. Yeah, HCN. I stop right here. My answer is in moles of HCN. I don't want my answer to be in moles of HCN. I want it to be in liters of NH3. So I use the stoichiometry found in the balanced chemical equation, which tells me that for every two moles of NH3, I have two moles of HCN. Now I have my answer in moles of ammonia. I then convert my moles of ammonia into um, liters of ammonia, which for every one mole of NH3, I have 22.4 liters of NH3. And when I do the math, I will get... 15 liters of NH3. All right, the next thing we need to do here is do the same calculation for water. But within doing the calculation for water, we need to ask ourselves how many liters of H2O is equal to 15 liters of HCN. I convert my liters of HCN into moles of HCN. So this is one mole of HCN for 22.4 liters of HCN. I convert my moles of HCN into moles of water. This is, comes from the balanced chemical equation, which tells me that for every six moles of H2O, I have two moles of HCN. And from there, I convert my moles of water into moles of, into um, liters of water, which you know for every one mole of H2O, I have 22.4 liters of H2O. When I do this, I will end up getting 45 liters of H2O. All right, so the key thing here, again, is the stoichiometry. Essentially, what we did, we went from liters to moles of what we have to moles of what we want to liters to what we want. So if we go back and look at our original equation, it says how many liters of CH4 will we need? So for CH4, we would end up needing 15 liters of O2 we would end up having 22.5 liters um, NH3. We would have 15 liters. And for H2O, we would have 45 liters. That's how much we produce. A big thing and a key to this is knowing the stoichiometry in the balanced chemical equation.